Good morning. Happy Saturday. Well, so far has been very uneventful. Daryl is at a movie with his friend. He wanted, they asked if I wanted to go, but they're going to go see, oh, what's it called? Hunger Games. Er, but meh. I'd rather not. I'd rather see Dumb and Dumber. That's that's how my mind rolls. I like the Dumb and Dumber things, and they like the not so dumber things. So other than that, I have just got my clothes on, and that's it. I am thawing out some hamburger because I'm gonna make my parents some dinner tonight. Tonight they get beef enchiladas and Spanish rice. And somebody's still asleep. I love that tummy. And today I have changed out my wallflowers. This is, what's it called? Oh yeah, fresh balsam. My very favorite. Oh, it's so good. It smells like a fresh cut Christmas tree. And it smells like a real fresh cut Christmas tree. So I have one down here and one upstairs. And oh, the whole house smells wonderful. And I also have a candle. But I'm not going to burn that until after Thanksgiving. Especially since those candles, for I burn them four hours a day for about five days and they're done they're gone it's ridiculous and so next week mom and I are gonna go to the mall and we have some Bath and Body Works coupons and we're gonna buy ourselves some more candles so that will be nice I just love that candle so everybody saw last night in my video that we went to Dollar Tree and this is Daryl's stash here he wanted to go after dinner. He's like, hey, you want to go to Dollar Tree? I'm like, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> so this is why he wanted to go. This is his favorite. These crybabies from Double Bubble. They are just in a little separate gumball, and he loves them. And he'll chew one for five minutes and go on to the next. He'll chew a whole bag in one night. It's really bad. But... Every time I go to a Dollar Tree, they never have them. And we went to a new Dollar Tree and they had a whole box. So yeah, I think he bought like 10 bags, maybe 11 for good measure. I don't know. Brother. And then we bought more of these. These are just so fun. They're like a Tic Tac, but these are the Fruity Lemon Heads. They're really yummy and I like to keep them in my purse and in the car, on my bed stand. And then I saw these Red Hot Cinnamon Mints, so those ought to be good. So yeah, we're going to share those. And then Daryl got this for his dry skin. He's really itchy, so we're hoping that this works as well as the expensive one. Um, I got him his own whitening pin. And let's see. And then we got two more well not two more but I bought two of these table covers for Christmas I like to use the plastic ones for my table so I can just chuck them because we have a Christmas party here at my house and crumbs and food gets all over so it'll be nice to just put these on and throw them off I hope they're the right size and yeah that's it so everything's just a big old mess this is his candy sack to put it all away. This just goes on the floor next to the yams, next to the boom chicka pop, next to the tostatals. And yeah. And I just brushed my teeth and so these aren't tasting too good right now. I love green grapes and the ones that are the yellowest are the ones that are the sweetest. So I eat those last. Anyway, the last couple days I've been struggling with that heartburn and digestion. Um, and all day yesterday, my 
I was salivating like excessively. I've done that a couple times before and it's so bad that I have to like in a cup because I can't deal with it. And I looked it up online and it could be something called Berg, B-E-R-G, and it's some sort of heartburn type in acid thing and I might have that. I don't know. I take Celexa and I take it for anxiety and I've been on it for about six months and even my pharmacist warned me, oh, make sure you eat with this because it can really cause ulcers. I'm like, oh, great. So I would always eat with it, take it with my big meal, and in the last few weeks, I've just been getting really acidy and sour. And then, you know, last Saturday, I felt down here like I was getting, like I got slugged in the stomach. And before that, I was constantly burping up acid and so now yesterday and today I'm just sort of I just still have that sour feel in my throat my stomach doesn't hurt or anything but I'm thinking my Celexa is starting to upset my stomach I'm thinking that's why so I need to call my doctor and see if I can get on a different medication I was on Wellbutrin a long time ago and that seemed to do pretty well for me and I never had any stomach problems so I'm gonna call a doctor and try to take care of that I just I hate having to deal with stuff like that because I'm always afraid they're gonna argue with me or or put me through a bunch of tests or something you know I don't wanna nobody has time for that it's Thanksgiving I don't need that I just need a new prescription okay so in the meantime, these here things are my friend. I have Tums in the kitchen. I have Tums by my bed. This stuff works pretty well. Um, it's disgusting and chalky and gross, but it works. But yeah, and this you can take several times a day. I've only taken it once so far. But yeah. If it's not cough syrup, it's this stuff. So I'm thinking while Daryl's gone, I need to vacuum. I haven't vacuumed in a while and now is a good time. And the cats are gonna flee. As Soon as they hear me roll this out, they hide. They go crazy. This is the devil right here. This is the enemy. Oh, but do I really want to disturb this little baby? Oh, do I want to disturb you? Yes. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Done vacuuming. Woo. I have an Auric vacuum and it is the lightest vacuum in the whole planet. I can just push it with two fingers. And so I'm wearing a whole outfit of sweats and sweatpants and I'm not even sweating that much. My old vacuum was a Bissell Pet and that thing, no kidding, it probably weighs like 50 pounds. And it blew heat out of the exhaust or the fan or something from the behind. And it would always blow on my legs. And it was just a horrendous vacuum. And the filters got clogged. So I got rid of that and got this Auric. That last vacuum, I would be wringing wet by the time I was finished vacuuming, even in shorts, because... It was blowing heat on me and it weighed 100 pounds, however it did give me a good workout. But this Auric vacuum, I love it. So I'm treating myself to some Teddy Grahams.
My cats will probably be out in about an hour or so when they realize it's safe to come out. I'm calling my dad to tell him about dinner tonight. Hi, Dad. What are you doing? Oh, okay. That's nice. How have you been? You went to Walmart? Nice. <laughs> The busiest Walmart in the state. I suppose. You're funny. Well, I'm bringing you dinner tonight so you don't have to go anywhere. Yes, just for you. I know. <laughs> so we're good. I'm going to make you some enchiladas. So they'll last you for a week or so. <laughs> That's right. Just stay home. So we'll be there about 5 o'clock, you know, or 4.35, you know. Okay, make sure the door's unlocked. Okay, love you, Dad. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I love my dad and my mom. So, 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 so much. Look who decided to come out. Momo. Watch this. She's really jumpy. Boop. No. Boop. Did you decide to come out? Boop. <laughs> no, little one. Don't get all upset. She's prowling around really slowly because she's afraid. She's afraid of my Teddy Graham's box because <laughs> she's nervous from that vacuum. Crazy! Okay, I am going to go in and start dinner for my dad. Use a little of this. Okay, now I'm just going to start filling these up with meat and lining them up in the pan. Just put my old El Paso in. Just spoon it on each one to make sure I have enough. Okay, so that's what they look like. And now I'm going to put some cheese on them and put them in the oven. Okay. On goes the foil. As a side dish, we're going to have, I'm going to make um, this Nor's Mexican rice. We love this Nor's rice and noodles and stuff. So I'm just going to bring this to a boil and let it simmer and then we'll go. And I made enough enchiladas for Daryl and me, so we'll eat some of those when we get back home tonight. I just gave the baby some catnip. So you know you love your kitties when you vacuum the floor and then two hours later sprinkle weed all over it. Ok, 
Okay, so the rice is done. And the enchiladas are done. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna cut some out for Daryl and myself and then we'll leave. Okay, here's what Dad and Penny's looks like. And then here's our little plate. And now we're gonna go. Off we go. Off we go! Look at that big beastly cloud over there. It's 420 and it's super dark. Great fashion. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. He has. He's a Utah man. Yeah. That's what it looked like. They're yeah. probably watching the game. And yeah. They're losing. Nah. He has a little thing out there. He did the Utah uh, uh, banner. Oh yeah. I see. He's got a flag there. Yeah. His... Yeah. It's snowing. Okay, everyone. We are back. And it is snowing really hard. It was still raining at my parents when we left, but at my house it's snowing and it's sticking. So I'm glad we didn't go out to eat. I just made extra enchiladas, so. That's what we're having for dinner, huh? So here it is. It looks good. Pretty good enchiladas. Kitty. Ugh, enchilada overload. <coughs> yeah, that was really good. We haven't had those in a long time. I need to do it more often. So anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I'm full and it's only 6.10 and it seems like it's 9 o'clock. And I'm so bummed because it totally stopped snowing. It was snowing so hard and now it has completely stopped. <laughs> I'm so sure. Anyway, I hope you all have a great night and tomorrow's Sunday. I guess we'll see you then. Good night, everyone. Peace. Down the hatch. This stuff is sick.